A cikin shirin namu na yanzu za ku ji cewa ƴan sanda a Senegal sun harba hayaki mai sa hawaye kan daruruwan masu zanga zangar dage babban zaben kasar. A can jihar Niger ta Nigeria ma an shafe tsawon wunin yau ana zanga zangar tsadar rayuwa. Abinci yayi sada shin ka fa dubu biyu gari masara dubu 15 ne da ribiyar dun da na zuwa duniya ne ba ta baga irin wannan ba. A jamhuriyar Niger kuwa cutar muran tsuntsaye ce ta bulla lamarin da ya haddasawa masu gidajen kaji mummunar asara shin kowane mataki hukumomi ke dauka an kashe duk wanda adda rai sannan an ka gina rami an ka business kuma an sa magani wanda ka disinfectant wuri avec des virus ba magani wanda kashe kwayar cuta Saliwa da Musman shine sunana amma kafin mu je ga wadannan da makarin wasu batutuwa ga Muhammad Tijani Hassan da labaran duniya DW labaran duniya Kasar Spain ta sanar da ware tallafin maku dan kudade ga hukumar kula da ƴan gudun hijira ta majalisar dinkin duniya dake yankin Falastinu. Sakataren harkokin wajen Amerika ya isa Saudiya domin soma ran gadi a yankin gabas ta tsakiya. Kungiyar tarayyar Afirka na taro a birnin Brazzaville na Congo kan rikitin kasar Libya. Kasar Spain ta sanar a wannan litinin da ware tallafin gaggawa na euro miliyan 3 da rabi ga hukumar kula da ƴan gudun hijira ta majalisar dinkin duniya dake yankin Falastinu wacce ke fuskantar barazanar katsewar tallafi daga kasashe da dama bayan zargin cewa da hannun ma'aikatanta a harin da Hamas ta kai wa Isra'ila yayin da yake sanar da wannan tallafi ministan harkokin wajen Spain Jose Luis Alvarez Yace akwai damuwa mai matukar hadari a makonni masu zuwa idan ayyukan jin kai suka ta barbare a zirin Gaza. A cewar babban jami'in diplomasiyan tarayyar Turai Joseph Borel, tallafin da aka katse wa hukumar a halin yanzu ya kai dalar Amurka miliyan 440 kusan rabin kudaden da take bukata a wannan shekara ta 2024. Dama dai a cikin kungiyar tarayyar Turai, kasar Spain ta kasance mai adawa da matakin Isra'ila tun bayan farmakin da ta kaddamar kan kungiyar Hamas da wadansu kasashe ciki har da Amurka suka bayyana a matsayin ta an ta yadda domin daukar fansa kan harin ranar 7 ga watan Oktoban bara Sakataren harkokin wajen Amurka Anthony Blinken ya isa kasar Saudiya a yau litinin zangon farko na ran gadin da zai yi a yankin gabas ta tsakiya a kokarin samar da sabuwar rijijeniyar rijijeniyar tsagai ta wuta a azirin Gaza wannan ne karo na biyar da jami'in diplomasiyar ke zuwa yankin tun bayan fara rikitin Isra'ila da kungiyar Hamas wanda ke cika watanni biyar da barkewa a wannan makon bayan Saudiya ziyarar za ta kai shi kasashen Qatar da Masar da Isra'ila da kuma yankin gabar yamma da kogin Jordan a wani labarin kuma Prime Minister Isra'ila bin Yamin Netanyahu ya ce ba zai amince da sharidan da kungiyar Hamas ta gindaya ba kan sakin ragowar mutanen da take garkuwa da su a dai gefe kuma ministan harkokin wajen kasar Faransa Stéphane Sejourné wanda shi ma ya kai ziyara Isra'ila ya shedawa Netanyahu cewa dole Isra'ila ta kawo karshen musgunawar Yahudawa da ke zauna a yankunan Falastinawa da suka mamaye a birnin Kudus da bangarorin biyu ke takaddama a kansa ana shan labaran ne daga nan sashen Hausa na DW Komitin sulhu na majalisar dinkin duniya na zama a maricen wannan litinin bisa bukatar kasar Rasha domin yin mahawara kan haraharan daukar fansa da Amurka ta kai a Iraqi da Syria a matsayin martani kan kisan sojojin ta uku a kudancin kasar Jordan inda ta dora alhakin akan kungiyoyi masu alaka da Iran a cikin wata wasika da komitin sulhu na majalisar dinkin duniya wai wallafa a yau ya ambato jakadan Iran a majalisar na cewa zargin da Washington ke yi ma Tehran akan harin na ranar 28 ga watan janairu baya da tushe ma'aikatar harkokin wajen Rasha dai ta yi turda haraharan da ta siffanta da mataki na wuce gona da iri kan kasashe masu cin gashin kansu tare kuma da zargin Amurka da tayar da fituna a yankin gabas ta tsakiya Komitin Koli na kungiyar tarayyar Afirka na taro a wannan litinin a Brazzaville babban birnin kasar Congo domin tattauna batun dawo da zaman lafiya a kasar Libya wacce yakin ba sa sai daidaita tun shekarar 2011. 
taran da ke zama karo na 11 tun bayan kafa kungiyar ta AU an shirya shine domin sharafa jan babban taron sulhu a tsakanin bangarorin da ke gaba da juna a Libya wanda aka tana da gudanarwa a ranar 28 ga watan April mai zuwa shugaban kasar Congo Denis Sassou Nguesso dake jagorantar kwa mutun ya ce suna goyen baya 100 duk wani yunkuri na magancin rikitin Libya cikin ruwan sanyi ta hanyar tattaunawa da juna kafin a shirye zabe domin to dora kasar ta arewacin Afirka kan ta farkin demokradiya a cewar kungiyar tarayyar Afirka rikitin na kasar Libya wanda ya barke bayan mutuwar Mu'amar Gaddafi yayi wa kasar mummunar illa a fannoni da dama da suka haifar da tabarbarewar tsaro wanda ya bazu zuwa yankin Sahel da tattalin arziki da kuma siyasa karshen labaran kenan a halin yanzu to madalla gaida Muhammad Tijani Hassan da ya karanto labaran duniya daga nan sashin Hausa na DW DW arkokin yau To rahotannin namu na wannan maraicin za ku ji masu na tattalin arziki a Najeriya na nuna shakku kan matakan da babban bankin kasar CBN ke dauka domin ceto darajar Naira za kuma ku ji yadda masu ababan hawa a jamhuriyar Kamaru ke kokawa kan karin farashin Manpeter sannan baya ga wannan akwai cikakken labarin wasanni duk dai a cikin shirin amma za mu faro shirin ne din gurungum daga siyasar Senegal Ana zaman tankiya a kasar Senegal sakamakon matakin soke gudanar da zaben shugaban kasa da aka tsara ranar 25 ga wannan watan na Fabrairu har zuwa wani lokacin da ba a tantance ba shugaban kasar Maki Sall ne dai ya sanar da dage zaben abun da ya haifar da sabon rikicin siyasa ga rahoton Suleiman Babayo Yan sanda sun yi amfani da hayaki mai saka hawaye domin tarwatsa masu zanga zanga dake adawa da matakin shugaba Maki Sall na jinkirta zaben shugaban kasa har sai abin da hali yayi a kasar dake yankin yammacin Afirka wadda take zama inda sojoji bas taba yin juyin mulki ba a yankin ga abin da wasu daga cikin yan kasar ta Senegal da suka fusata game da matakin shugaban kasar ke cewa baya son ya bar kasar mu cikin kwanciyar hankali ya bar mana kasa za mu zabi wani Haka yayi kama da juyin mulki ga kundin tsarin mulki ba mu yi tsammanin jinkirta wannan zaben ba Mun gaji shekaru 12 da suka gabata haka aka yi me yace ba ma jinkirta zabe ba shi ya mallaki wannan kasa ba Mutane da dama sun harzuka sakamakon matakin shugaba Maki Sall na Senegal bayan jawabin da ya gabatar na jinkirta zaben zaben da aka tsara ranar 25 ga wannan wata na Fabrairu musamman a birnin Dakar fadar gwamnatin kasar tuniyan adawa da yan gogor maya suka kaddamar da yakin neman zabe duk da matakin jinkirtawa da shugaban kasar ya dauka Alun Baro yana cikin mambobin yakin neman zaben dan takara Basiru Duyamen Pai wanda yake takara a zaben na shekara ta 2024 kuma alim baro ya nuna takaici game da tauye kundin tsarin mulkin kasar sannan ya kara da cewa gare mu kundin tsarin mulki shine littafin mu mai tsarki ba ma tattaunawa muna duba kundin tsarin mulki ne kuma yanayin da ake ciki an kai kashi 50 cikin dari ka je ka yi zabe ka dawo wannan shine ba ma bukatar komai mun san yan takarar mu Matakin dage zaben wani abu ne da aka tsara a cewar mai goyen bayan Usman Sanko ɗaya daga cikin jagororin yan adawa kuma masanin na'ura mai kokolwan Walodio ya ci gaba da cewa muna sani akwai tsararre game da jinkirta zaben ba abu ne da yazo lokaci guda ba ina tsammani za a samu zaman lafiya idan aka yi tattaunawa ta gaskiya yan adawa sun ci gaba da yakin neman zabe kamar yadda aka tsara karkashin kotun tsarin mulki gabanin jinkirta zaben da shugaba Maki Sall yayi yan adawa da dama sun nuna takaicin jinkirta zaben har sai illa ma sha Allahu Mamadu Mignan Diop 
yana cikin yan kungiyoyin fararon hula na kasar ta Senegal kon l'appel dialogue kon l'appel negotiation ko an kira tattaunawa ko yarjejeniya ko tattaunawa ta kasa baki daya yana da muhimmanci ga duk yan siyasa kanana da manya a Senegal su yi magana da juna Senegal ce take da muhimmanci ga abinda ake yi a wannan litinin majalisar dokokin kasar ta Senegal ta tattauna batun lokacin da ake artabu tsakanin jami'an tsaro da masu zanga zanga a wajen zauran majalisar kuma kungiyar tarayyar Afirka da kungiyar bunkasa tattalin arzikin kasashen Afirka ta yamma Ecowas ko CD yawo duk sun nuna damuwa game da yanayin da ake cike a kasar ta Senegal to a gaida Suleiman Babayo da wannan rahoton to a yayin da ake ci gaba da nuna adawa da matakin dage zaben kasar ta Senegal da shugaba Maki Sall yayi shugabannin kungiyoyin fararon hula a yammacin nahiyar Afirka irin su Nuhu Muhammadu Arzuka na kungiyar farar hula ta MPCR a Jamhuriyar Niger na ganin irin wannan mataki zai iya gurgunta demokradiya a yankin da a baya bayan nan ya fuskanci karuwar juye juyen mulki a hira da nai da shi daga nan bon na fara ne da tambayar sai da suke kallon matakin na dage babban zaben kasa da shugaba Maki Sall yayi ni a nauga ni abin da yake faruwa Maki Sall Allah ne kamar me yasa ka fadi haka ma irin matakan da suka dauka tare da sawan kasashe musamman sabon shugabannin kasashe da ma eh alasan wata da umbalo na Guinea Bissau da kuma talon na kasar Benin ga irin yadda zace suka taka a rawa su bisa kan irin abun da suke cewa ana yi ba daidai ba kenan yau in Allah ya ka lokacin da gashi kiri Allah ya kama shi shi ma kisal da kanshi ya ce yau zai daga zabe kamar ga ai zabe kudin tsarin mulki da kasar na kasar Senegal ya ce lalle cikin tsarin zabe shugaban kasa shi ke irin kuduri wanda za a sa ranar zabe kuma ya yi kuduri wanda zai sa a kire mutane a bude kamfani duk wannan shi na cikin aikin shi amma an ce yana iya yi amma ba a ce yana iya sake ba yau wato kamar hujjar da ya bayar ita ce ta a dan ba da lokaci saboda a samu daidaito tsakanin majalisar dokokin kasar da kuma kotun babban kotun kasar da yayi maganar cewa wasu ba za a ba su dama su tsaya takara ba saboda sun mallaki takardun zama wasu kasashen bayan ita Senegal babu wannan tunda wannan kotun kole kotun kotun nan da tayi yanke wannan in akwai kuskuren da akai sai in an ai wata da ababashi bane adda bakin magana in an yi wanda ba daidai ba ai magana kotu ce kotu ita ce take ransa take tsai da wanda ke taka wanda take ba izini in ta ba wani izini a ta iske akwai an yi ba akwai ni ba daidai ba to lokacin nan ana iya dauko magana a hurdota a ce a kawo kuma a maido a maido ta can gaba amma ba shi bane a matsayin shi na shugaba wanda ya kare wa'adin shi kuma ana gobe za gobe za a yin za a fara eh abin nan kamfani da zabe ya ce ya ya soke kudurin nan da ya dauka kamar ya kuke kallon wannan matakin haka zai shafi demokradiyar Senegal ganin cewa tana daya daga cikin kasashen Afirka kalilan da ba a taba juyin mulki ba yayi abubuwan da abun da abun da ba a taba yi ba cikin wadanga duka shugaba uku da suka wuce gaba shine yanzu zai yi wannan abin da zai iya haddasa ya kici da fitina da tashin hankalin da zai iya sama demokrasi in ta kasar abun nan ta kasar Senegal ta gurgunce tunda wanga tsarin yadda yi ba demokrasi bane shine aka ce ma kudeta 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 constitutional yayi mu kundin tsarin mulki juyin mulki a kanshi yayi hakan zai shafi bangaren adawa ganin cewa an ma kama wasu daga cikin shugabannin jami'un adawa haka wannan ba shakka dole ne kasar Senegal ta cince kanta cikin wanga mugunta Adiza a ci ai bai dace ba a ci cikin tsarin mulkin demokrasiya iska ana wani kiki ana wada ana wada ta wada ce bai kamata su yi abin da zai kawo makasa in rikita wanda ba su da dadi ba Nuhu Muhammadu Arzuka shugaban kungiyar farar hula ta MPCR a Jamhuriyar Niger kenan 
to idan muka nufi Najeriya yan sanda sun tarwatsa daruruwan masu zanga zanga a garin Mina na jihar Naija dake kasar masu zanga zangar wadanda suka rufe manyan tituna don nuna damuwar su kan tsadar rayuwa da ake fama da ita a kasar su riga daga alluna don nuna rashin jin dadin su abokin aiki na Uwais Abubakar Idris ya bibi zanga zangar ga kuma rahoton da ya aiko mana daga Abuja Tunda sanyin safiya ne dai masu zanga zangar ta lumana da suka nuna bacin ran su akan tsadar rayuwar da suka ce ta jefa su cikin mawuyacin hali suka fito suka yi da fifi akan titi inda mafi yawan su da suka shiga zanga zangar mata ne suna bayyana cewa tura fa ta fara kaiwa bango dan ka gwamnati dauki mataki na sokaka musu halin da suke ciki amduba abubakar na cikin matan da suka yi zanga zangar abinci yayi sada shin ka fa dubu biyu gari masara dubu shafiya ne da ribiyar ana sai da duka duko wana sai da abin da ya gada ma gashi muna february abincin gona na fitowa komai na sada ni tun da na zo fita duniyar nan dun da na zo duniya ne ba ta baga irin wannan ba wallahi ban ta baga ne ba dan Allah da tinubu ne da lolo ne da duka ne da Allah su taimake mu masu zanga zangar da suka rike kwalayen da aka rubuta kalamai na nuna fushi da tsadar rayuwa sun taru ne a shatalai talan fakungu dake garin Mina suna bukatar lalle gwamnati da dauki mataki akwai dai mazajen da suka rufa wa matan baya domin nuna goyen baya akan wannan zanga zangar da suka yi a garin na Mina inda suka tushe hanyar da take fitowa daga Mina zuwa Bidda Ismail Haruna wani magidanci ne da ya shiga zanga zangar wannan abu mata suke yin sa kuma muka fito muka mara musu baya saboda mu muke zuwa mu je mu nemo mu kawo musu sun nuna sun fi mu kishin abun nan kullun kwanan duniya karin kudin abinci yau ko gurin mai shayi ka je ka zauna lifton kawai za a baka shi naira 80 ko naira 100 shu a gabannin nan mun tsaya mun zabe su da kuri'o'in mu amma ba su damu da mu ba to yau ina ina suke son mu sa kawunan mu hatsaniya dai ta kaure a lokacin da mataimakin gwamnatin jihar ta Naija ke yi wa masu zanga zangar jawabi inda wani matashi ya nemi taba hular mataimakin gwamnatin jihar ta Naija Yakub Garba daga baya gwamnatin jihar ta Naija Honorable Umar Muhammad Bago ya bayyana matakan da suke dauka a yanzu gwamnati tana nan tana kame kame na wanda suka kawo wannan irin tashin hankalin saboda ruwa ba ta tsami a banza amma bayan haka ana laƙika rayuwa ya tsada kuma gaskiya ana cikin wani lokaci saboda haka muna kira da gwamnati babba da gwamnati namu ma mu samu waraka da za samu mutane a zaman sauki an je ana kwashi abinci a kauyuka a hannun talakawa an tara su a sutu ana jira azumi yazo ko kuma farashi ya karu sannan ya fito da shi tsadar rayuwa dai ta sanya mummunan hawa farashin kai yake musamman na abinci da ta jefa rayuwar miliyoyin yan Najeriya cikin hali na wahala duk da arzikin da kasar ke da shi a yanayi na ga koshi ga kwanan yunwa wai sabu bakar idris dw hausa daga abuja Najeriya to a gaida wai su da wannan rahoton har yanzu dai muna najeriyar a yayin da babban bankin kasar CBN ke kokarin fito da sabbin tsare tsare domin ceto darajar kudin kasar da ta fadi warwas masana tattalin arziki na nuna shakku kan yuwar tasirin matakan da bankin ke dauka wakilin mu na yankin Naja Delta Muhammad Bello ya duba mana wannan batu ga kuma rahoton da ya hada mana Sabbin tsare tsare da ya da babban bankin na CBN din ya bujiro da su a baya-bayan nan sun hada da soke damar da bankunan kasar ke da shi na karbar kudaden da ake aikuwa daga kasashen Etere wato International Money Transfer sannan ya soke sabbin lasisin samun damar yin hakan ga bankunan musamman ma kafafan hada hadar kudaden irin su OP da Money Points da sauran su wadannan matakai dai inji CBN din a ganin sa za su samar da karin da daito a kasuwar hada hadar kudaden ta hanyar samar da isashen kudade na dala a kasuwar haka kuma babban bankin ya umarci da bankunan su rage zarmiwa a hada hadar kudaden na waje kuda yake dai ya umarce su da sai da dalar da zarar sun fahimci karancin dalar a kasuwa Dr. Ahmad Umar tsohon manajan bankin Keystone ne a kasar Lalube kawai babban banki take yi cikin duhu sun shiga rudani ba a san mata ina za a kamo ba to su sa kake ta ganin wa'annan 
Cyclus the yau da ban gobe jibi daga an yi wannan tunani a ji a fito da wannan magana na gaskiya shine demand da ake yi na dalan ya fi karfin abin da yake shigowa issue din da central bank din take it address it dole shi za a koma yaya za a yi mu fara production production ya kasance cewa abubuwa da yawa da muke muka dogara daga turai akan a shigo mana da su mu fara yin su anan Alhaji Kabiru Musa Jibia kurare ne kan hada hadar kudade a kasar shi ma ga abin da yake cewa ni a nawa ra'ayi bin ganin zai iya rage ko ya kara wasu abubuwa ga dai yanzu gaskiya magana ba mamaki dai ko idan a kosu dokoki da za a shigo su da sunan gaba za a samu haka kusan idan kallo ko ciniki za ka yi Nigeria Nigeria ce amma sai ga an ce sai an yi ciniki ta dala eh abubuwan din sun lalace kuma duk wanda ka san yana da kuri gwamnati ya doki ya je sai dala ya aje wani dan canje a fatakol Alhaji Salisu Ikara ya tabbatar da cewar basu ma fahimci inda aka dusa ba ni dai dan canje ne amma gaskiya akan magana har ka canje ni kaina ban san inda kasa gaba ba ina ganin dai alalace zan kai shekara 27 ina harka canji to sai dai wani hanzari ba gudu ba shine na karin wani matsi ga yan najeriyar ganin gwamnati ta ƙara kudin fitan kayayyakin da ake saiwa daga kasashen waje da aka so 48.49 cikin 100 kuma daga dukkanin alamu dan najeriyar zai fi sanin radadin hakan ne in yazo su yi misali magungunan da ake aunuwa daga wajen domin yanzu an nunar inhela maganin masu asma da da yake naira 3500 yanzu an ce ya kai naira dubu hamsin Mr Ignatius Choku mai sharhi ne a harkokin tattalin arziki I have said it many times that once your revenue is down once your police earning is very very down the government of the day yace na sha fadin cewa da zarar kwada dan shigar kasa suka ja baya to kasa za ta shiga far gaba daga nan ne kafofin gwamnati irin su CBN za su fara tunanin ta inda kwadade za su fito ta hanyoyi kamar na ƙara haraji kan kayayyaki kuma ko da rigewa aka yi kamar a baya can ko da yaushe akwai rukunin jama'ar da za su jira da din ko matsawar dogaro ya ci gaba kan danyen mai to ko za a yi ta gudu ne guri guda kuma halin da ake ciki kenan Muhammad Bello DW Hausa Niger Delta to daga fadi tashin tattalin arziki a Najeriya sai kuma na barkewar annoba a makwabciyar ta Jamhuriyar Niger hukumomi a yamai babban birnin Jamhuriyar Niger din sun sanar da bullar cutar muran tsuntsaye a wasu gonaki sanarwar ta biyo bayan gano mace-mace da dama ne na tsuntsaye a yankin wakilin mu na yamai din Salisu Bukari na dauke da rahoto tunda waje ja 27 ga watan da ya shude ne na janairu ma'aikatar rakula da lafiya dabobi ta birnin yamai da ke bi saboda kafa wannan batu na bullar murar tsuntsaye wanda bayan da bincike ya tabbatar da zargin da ake ya zama na gaskiya na cewa murar tsuntsaye ya ce ta sanya ofishin gwamnatin birnin Yamai ya dauki kudurin doka domin sanar da cutar a hukumance da kuma matakan dauka da suka hada da kashe dukkanin kajin ko tsuntsaye da aka samu a wannan wuri inda cutar ta balla har ma da killace birnin bisa fadin murabba'in kilometer goma inda ake ganin tsuntsayen da ke cikin wannan yanki ka iya kasancewa cikin hadari kuma dole ne a yi taka tsantsan tare da sanar da hukumomi duk wasu mace-mace da aka fuskanta na kaji ko kuma sauran tsantsaye wanda ba a saba ganin irin sa ba Dr. Abubakar Ramu shine babban director kasa mai kula da lafiya dabobi a ofishin minista Noma da kiwon lafiya dabobi wannan declaration ke ita tace an samu ka na fuwaye cikin garin Yami kenan ya kamata a gane cikin garin Yami na kuma ko cikin garin Yami rishin lafiya ta wadda an samu cikin gida maza maza an ka tare mun ka hana ko dan bisa guda mai rai ko wame tace shi ta da cikin exploitation wattan cikin gidan nan mai zur ta biyu an kashe duk wanda adda rai sannan an ka gina rami an kai incineration ke su an ka an ka business su kuma an ka sama gani wanda ka disinfectant wuri avec des virus wani gani wanda kashe kwayar cuta kudurin doka mai lamba hudu na wannan doka ta gwamnatin birnin Yamai ya nuna cewa duk wani nau'i na tsuntsaye da ka iya kamuwa da wannan cuta ta murar tsuntsaye an dauki matakai na sa ido tare da bi saura kafa domin ganin wannan cuta ba ta fi karfin birnin na Yamai har ta kai ga bulla ga wasu yankuna ba Dr Abubakar Ramu director kasa mai kula da lafiya dabobi ya ce ya zuwa yanzu an shayo kan matsalar kuma ya kyautu da akwantar da hankali abin da zan ciya ga mutane su tada hankalin su ga wannan lokaci da muke ga yau ma alhamdulillah wata rishin lafiya mun kare ta ga ga wannan wuri an killace ta ba a bari ta he ta ba da kasashen waje na ta shigo muna in an ka ka koi ko an ka ka kaji wanda ba su lafiya kun san wani lokaci su wayansu kasashe ko sun ga bisa su ba talla suna essay da ta akata to wannan abu shi na zama muna matsala shi na ka suna shigo a cikin kasar mu suna muna kare problem na yi kokarin jin ta bakin shugabannin wannan gona da wannan cuta ta bulla amma haka ta bata cin ruwa ba 
sai da duk da cewa ba su yadda na na da muryoyin su ba sauran masu kiwon kaji da cutar bata je gare su ba sun ce suna nan sun dauki kwararen matakai tare da sa idanun sosai ga tsuntsayen nasu amma da yake magana Muhammad Nuri shugaban kungiyar Adede Sewa Data masu kare hakin jama'a masu sayi domin amfanin yau da kullum ya ce ya kamata fa a rinka daukar mataki na riga kafi domin kaucewa irin wannan asara da ake tafkawa da zaran cutar tabulla mutane ana ta asara wanda suke kiwon kaji da sauran tsuntsaye abin da ya bar dadi ko ba gaskiya ba saboda takan yi ma kaje ka ciyo ba shi ka so kwai an kyanke shi an samu yan kaji ko kuma a'a kuwa yan kajin ne ma da suke kwai kyan daga inda aka ce wannan murar tawa kana sai kaga ana ta kashewa wasu a yanke to wannan nake tsamanin kwanda a sami matakai na riga kai to na dai aka dauki kwararen matakai ciki har da hukunci ga duk wadanda suka saba wa dokokin da aka shata na kariya da ma dakatar da wannan cuta ta murar tsuntsaye a birnin Yamai Salis Bukari DW Hausa daga Yammai a Jamhuriyar Niger To sai mu ce Allah ya tagaita ta idan muka je Jamhuriyar Kamaru kuwa masu ababan hawa ne a can ke kokawa kan karin farashin man Peter da gwamnatin kasar ta yi a ranar biyu ga watan Fabrairu ne dai gwamnatin ta kara farashin na mai lamarin da ya jefa masu karamin karfi cikin tasko daga garwan Kamaru gara Hoton Muhammadu Danda an da bi shekaru masu a taba da masu motocin dako da na tafiye tafiye suna san mai ne gefen tituna wannan man Peter da suke sha ana shigo da shine daga Najeriya inda yanda san jin naira yake haka farashin sa ke sauyawa a kullu yaumin yayin da ba kara kudin man Peter din ba farashin sa akan titi ya kai har kusan sefa dubu ma amma ba a ce komai ba ana saye a haka yanzu da gwamnati ta kara farashin ana ta korafe korafe Halidu Musa yana cewa gaskiya farashin mai ya kai mu baya sosai saboda yanzu ma yau na kai mara lafiya asibiti amma kamin samu mashin da zai kai ni kowa na tsare sai kaga ya kawo tsada to dole haka na biya amma ka yana damu mu talakawa gaskiya gashi muna fama ga abin da za a ci ga kuma ga tsada man peto amma ya kaman kowa nan arewacin Kamaru tunda Najeriya na kawo mai ba tsada anan ko wannan anya zai taba ko wa yanda ake tsoro ya zai taba mu saboda ka san yanayin yanda yake abun na kasan kasan nan in kaga ya shafi ko ina ko ina ne babu na kasan Kamaru kan babu wani sauki kaza kaza duk harakan daya ne baitin suna sayen mai ne kan tituna in a taba suna nuna ma customomin su cewa mai na da tsada Aliyu dan a taba ne na tambaye shi idan karin kudin man Peter ya shafe su gaskiya mai ya shafe mu amma ina ga kaman kudin man Najeriya ina da araha nan eh to kwanan ne dai abin da dan sauki ka dan amma ko ya ka san talaka kam dole ne abu in ya dai dan tauri dole zai kuka to ana kuka wai kuka kara kudin mashin itun da an kara kudin mai eh to in an kara kudin mai dole za mu kara kudin mashin don mu ma ba namu bane mutane yake ba mu mu yi aiki don mu fid da balas masu hawa mashin su ma an kara musu farashi koda an sayi man akan titi ne kaman wannan na hawa mashin muna ya kaga farashin an kara farashi an kara farashin muna ba su da kirki masu mashin an kara farashi an kara kudin mai to kudin mai ya kara su su kara mana farashi to su yi hakuri mana haka nan to su yi hakuri haka nan muna shan wahala eh komai ya karu shin ka fata karu mai ba abin da bai karu komai da komai Allah ya taimake mu shi kuma shagari cewa yake suna cikin damuwa ai ba cikin damuwa gaskiya amma ya ci mutuncin mu da muna aiki nan da zuwa can da ka irin goma yanzu ya zama 20 sakamakon tsaron kudin mai wahalar da muke ya baci a mai yadda ka san muke siyan shi da 300 da 400 mu zo mu yi aikin mu cin karan yanzu wallahi jaka 20 na jaka goma na zo jaka 20 daidai yarba jaka 20 muke aikin jaka 20 kake yanzu na jaka 40 akwai matsala kenan ba karama ba ko menene abin yi inda hali ya duba mana rage ko zamu samu sauki muna son gwamnati ta sa hannu ta taimake mu menene taimako eh te ko dai kasa a sai dai mu roki gwamnati masu kasa zai maka muna duk abinci muke da ma ya rimu gam sai dai wannan karin farashi da gwamnati ta yi bai shafi kalanzir da gas na girki ba mamadu danda dwi hausa daga garwa a jamhuriyar kamaru to ma sauraro karshen rahotannin namu kenan a yanzu kuma a daidai wannan lokacin ne muke ban kwana da masu bibiyar mu a shafin mu na Facebook tare da gayyatar ku zuwa babban shafin mu na internet dw.com/hausa don mu sauraro mu kai tsaye har ma da karanta labarai da muke wallafa muku a duk lokacin da kuke bukata Salihu Adam Usman shine sunana